He can't contain his excitement. <laughs> Alright, today I'm doing something that I wasn't sure if I would ever do on my channel, but I'm going to do a reading vlog today. Well, I'm going to start one today. I got the stunningly brilliant idea last night to read The Princess Diaries. And basically, last night I was kind of bored. It was Saturday night, had nothing better to do. So I was just trolling through movies and I decided to watch The Princess Diaries. And I don't know, it was really nostalgic. It was surprisingly made me laugh still. It was a charming little movie. And it got me thinking about when I was a kid and I used to read that series. Um, I think I only read three of them. I looked it up today and as it turns out there's actually 11 books at least that are in the series and they became they were still published all the way until 2015 which was only five years ago um, but I definitely didn't read that many of them but I don't know you know life is stressful now and that's for a lot of reasons but something easy and cute to read I just thought it would be fun that's all <laughs> I ended up going to the library today and I thought I was going to be able to walk in and just find these books. They didn't have any of them, which is crazy to me. So even looking it up on my library's, you know, their website, they don't have hardly any copies of these books anymore. It's kind of weird. I guess because a lot of them are getting to be about 20 years old at this point, maybe kids just don't read them anymore. Maybe that was just a thing like when I was growing up. Uh, the first one came out in 2000, so I would have been about 10 at that point. I mean, it could be, maybe like kids aren't reading them anymore, but I ended up having to get it on an ebook. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I don't really like reading ebooks. I haven't shelled out for a Kindle or anything like that, so I end up reading it just on the Libby app on my phone. And my phone's small, it's not really pleasant for me to read, I'd much rather have a physical book, but... I really wanted to read this book today and I didn't want to wait for it to come in so I I requested the second and the third one. I plan on reading three and seeing how it goes. I think those are the only ones I read when I was younger. But I'm actually going to start um, The First Princess Diaries here now and I guess I'll talk to you in a little bit. Share my thoughts. My reading buddy. Okay, I've read a couple chapters, so I am going to share a little bit of my thoughts. So, I watched a movie last night, like I said, and in the movie, her dad has passed away, like I think when she was really young, and she's never met the grandma before. So, if you've ever seen it, her grandma comes out of nowhere, wants to meet her when she's about 16, and tell her that she's a princess. And... In the book, she's a little bit younger and she's in contact, well, first of all, dad's alive and she's in contact with dad and grandma on a regular basis, so they're not strangers. And I just think it's interesting. Um, I don't remember if the dad passes away throughout the events of the book. I'm guessing he does because that's why it's such a big deal that she has to be like princess and all that. I like how we see everything from her journal entries. It's kind of cute and charming. She's kind of like a silly, funny kid. Um, but one thing that bothers me is, you know, I'm like 30 pages in, and she's so obsessed with her chest size. It's come up multiple times, and that just makes me sad. Like, I probably read this when I was about 10 or 11, and I'm just thinking, I probably read that and thought, oh, should I be worried about my chest size? And it just makes me sad, like, little girls being bothered by that kind of stuff that doesn't matter. And, you know, now that I'm older, it just seems so stupid. But that kind of stuff is a big deal to you when you're a kid. So, I don't know. We'll see how that keeps going. So I picked some really flattering lighting, but I'm at Target right now. Um, I have a gift I want to get for my fiancé, and he just happens to not be with me right now. So I'm going to go get it so that he doesn't see but I'm also like every other girl and I want to look at some Christmas decorations today. <laughs> and by the way, this is a tip from my fat self to yours. Park in the back of the parking lot so you get some extra walking in. <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling kind of awkward about filming myself, talking to myself. So I'm going to go in and get my item 
and I will see y'all later. As for the book, I still kind of have the same thoughts. It looks like the dad, um, the reason why he makes a big deal of telling Mia that she is a princess is because he can't have any other kids. So he knows she's going to take the throne after him. So she ha he has to tell her what's going on. Um, but my thoughts about Mia are kind of the same for right now. Well, I'm thrilled to give y'all something exciting in this video, but I am currently stranded in the parking lot. It sucks because I recently took my car to get fixed, um, probably three weeks ago. I got the brakes replaced and some other stuff. My car is actually kind of old. I got some things fixed and then my battery, well we thought it was my battery, um, my battery went out and I actually recently replaced my battery two weeks ago. And uh, it's still been having trouble starting. and. I don't know. I just really don't want to buy a new car right now. I could, but I don't want to. And it's frustrating when you, you've just spent a lot of money fixing your car and then more things are wrong and it's an older car and I know I'm going to keep having to replace stuff and I didn't pay that much to begin with for it. So, you know, I have to think about whether it's worth keeping it or just getting a newer one. Um, but man, it's just annoying, and I'm stuck in the parking lot. Luckily, I'm at the Kroger's. It's a grocery store. So I'm not very far from my house. I could honestly walk back, but these roads around here are kind of big with no real sidewalks or anything. Yeah, right now I'm waiting it out because occasionally when my car does this, um, it'll start in a few minutes, so we'll see if it does. If not, I might be walking home. So I just got home and yes, I am sweating because I live in Ohio and the weather is usually all over the place. Um, in November at this time, it would normally be about 40 to 50 degrees, but today it was in the 70s. And so it's kind of hot today. I'm sweating after walking home. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes, but I talked to my dad and I think I might be getting a new car this week, so it's kind of half exciting, half upsetting because, <laughs> um, long story short, I paid my current car off, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I just paid off my student loans this year, and I was really enjoying my loan-free lifestyle, um, and I think I'm going to be shunted back into that by buying a car, but we'll see what happens. Um, I think right now, I was going to decorate for Christmas this evening. I think I'm over it. I might do a little bit later. You'll find out. But I think I'm going to research cars and possibly read a little bit more until my fiancé gets home and we can talk about what I'm going to do. But lucky you, seeing the exciting trials and tribulations of my life. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't anticipate something so dramatic happening the very first time I vlogged, but there you go. Hey, so it's the next day. Today is Monday. It's currently my lunch break. Um, unfortunately, because of my car drama yesterday, I didn't really read too much more yesterday, so I don't have a book update, but I do have a car update. Uh, we went back to get it last night, and it still wouldn't start. And to make a long story short to explain what I'm doing later today, hopefully, is my car is old. I've had a lot of problems with it. Well, this past month I got several things fixed and thought everything was good. And so there's still things wrong with it. And at this point, my car is just a money sinkhole. So though I don't want to, I am probably going to be buying a new car today. And I've been deliberating, you know, I don't like to spend money, but uh, the last car I had, I just bought whatever was reliable and cheap. That's all I did because I bought it when I first graduated from college and I needed a car and it was my first car. Um, but yeah, I didn't pick out one I liked. I just picked out one that worked and would save me money. And... Now, fortunately, I'm in a place where if I really want to get the car that I want, I can. Um, 
I still kind of feel bad about it and who knows I might go to the dealership today and be and just chicken out ever since I was a kid I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler because if you're my age, you remember the Tomb Raider craze. I was obsessed with Tomb Raider, and she has epic Jeeps in the movie and stuff. And I know it sounds stupid, but since I was little, that's that's the car I've always wanted. And Jeep Wranglers, even if you buy them used, which is the plan right now, they're still not cheap. At least not cheap to me. So I kind of made the decision that I'm looking at Jeeps. I might be getting one later today. And yes, I could technically get a cheaper car, but getting the Jeep, which I, which is what I want, is going to get me the closest to feeling like a Lara Croft Tomb Raider badass. And at this point in my life, that's the closest I can hope to get. So, I am going after school today, or after work, you know, I'm going after work to check out one I found online. I saw a lot of options. Um, I've always kind of wanted one of those lime green or red ones. This one's blue though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You might be a, you might be getting a My New Whip tour later. I have no idea. Um, but we're going to check out the Jeep and if all is good, I might be coming home with it today, which would be really crazy and exciting. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So it's nighttime and I thought I would get an update on my book. I'm about halfway through. I think overall my thoughts are I like it. It's kind of cute, kind of funny. I'm kind of shocked by some of the things that they talk about in the book because I'm just remembering that I think I was 10 or 11 when I read it and they're talking a lot about like sexual stuff being molested on the street by guys in New York City and the one friend has a cable TV show well public access channel show and she has a foot fetish stalker and I'm just like I wonder if when I read this I understood what was going on because I don't really know <laughs> I feel like maybe it went over my head but you know I don't really remember um, but it's pretty interesting it's supposed to be a book for kids and talking about all this stuff so I would say overall I'm glad I decided to read it. I'll go ahead and read the next two because I requested them from the library so they should be coming in for me soon, a uh, physical one, so I can actually read them. But yeah, they're fun, they're silly, they're something easy to read and I'm appreciating that right now. By the way, this is Nugget, one of my cats, and he's chilling. So as for the car situation, uh, we went and looked at it and I liked it. There's a couple things that concern me, so I did not say that I was going to buy it today. We're going to be going back tomorrow and they're going to let me know if there's anything that they can fix on it, some of the issues, and then I'll decide possibly tomorrow if I'm going to be buying it. So Tomb Raider dreams are on hold for right now. And sorry, I'm very low energy because I'm extremely tired. Um, I'll update you tomorrow on the book and also the car. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, good morning. I Today is Wednesday. I did finish The Princess Diaries. So overall thoughts. I think I like the movie better. And there's a distinct possibility that that's just because I happened to see the movie first. I mean, I've seen the movie and read the book before, but it's been a very long time. So it could be just because that's the first one I, I saw. Comparing the book and the movie, the book was a lot more raunchy. And the movie was a lot more PG, which, I don't know. For the subject matter, I think that worked a lot better. And... I also think they did the characters different in the movie, and I kind of like that. Um, I'm not sure why they cut out the dad. Spoiler alert, dad does not die in the book, but in the movie he has passed away. Like, I think her whole life she didn't really know her dad. So interesting choice for the movie, but I do think the, that the movie played out better. And even all the scenes with, like, the teenagers at school and the scene at the end where she's at like the beach party and stuff. I, I think the movie did a better job of all that. 
the book was very fast paced and kind of zipped through everything. It wasn't a very long book and it was an extremely easy read, but here's what I think. Mia, our main character, so she's writing in her diary, right? And she's pretty sassy. I found myself kind of smiling to myself about her jokes. I think it was funny and it was done in a good way. And I think even if you're an adult, if this is a book you read with, when you were younger, try it again because I think as an adult, I can appreciate like just her trivial reactions to like all this silly stuff that you used to thought was like life or death in high school and middle school. I don't know. It was nice to kind of revisit that kind of time in my life. So I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading number two and number three. They haven't come into the library yet, but I will be reading them. And I don't know, I kind of enjoyed doing this blog type thing. So I might possibly do more. I don't know that I'll make it specific for one book next time. Just kind of reading in general, whatever I've got going on. But yeah. It was fun. Before I end this one today, I do want to give a car update since I've been like sharing my mellow drama about my car situation. Uh, last night we went to see the car again. They fixed everything that I had a problem with and they lowered the price and I decided ultimately to go for it. So Tomb Raider dreams have become real. And I thought I'd go outside real quick. I have a break in between my classes and I'm gonna go show you what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. I kind of can't believe it's mine. But yeah, I'll close off the vlog with that. So, see ya. All right, so this is my car. My Jeep. Pretty happy about it. And I can't wait to live my true, ultimate Lara Croft dream life. So, thanks for watching my first vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.